Hey folks, it's Hatch Chili season here in Central Texas and HEB is flooded with Hatch chilies and they're roasting them on the weekends and I picked up some spicy ones and I wanted to make something different and I've used them in the past, you know, for pimento cheese, Hatch pimento cheese and different things like that. And one of my favorite things is a is the the green sauce or some call it the, the Donna or Danya sauce, and that's normally made with jalapeno peppers. So I decided to do some research and come up with my own green sauce using Hatch chilies. So I picked up some spicy Hatch chilies that were roasted at H-E-B and put them together. This is how I made my green sauce come back and I'll give it a taste test and uh, see how I did. Okay, I'm gonna start by sauteing a half a cup of rough chopped onions with two cloves of garlic. And I just wanna sweat them out a little bit because the hatch, hatch chilies have already been roasted and this is what they look like. You just wanna scrape off that uh, skin and then remove the seeds. So here I have eight ounces of the the hatch chilies that have been deseeded and the skins removed. And I'm just going to place them in my uh, food processor. Then I'm going to add that half cup of onions and the, the two cloves of garlic. And I just cut the gar garlic in half. And then I'm going to add my packed quarter cup of cilantro I guess that's probably more of a half cup but they were packed in there pretty good I like cilantro so you could cut that in half if you wanted and then I've got a teaspoon of kosher salt and then a teaspoon of oregano I tried to find Mexican oregano but I can't find it anymore and a teaspoon of lime juice I can adjust these later if I need to add more of, of the salt or lime juice. I'm just going to give this a quick pulse just to kind of get, get this going. Just a couple of pulses. Okay. Now then, let's add a half a cup of a neutral vegetable oil. I'm using soybean oil here because I just I had soybean oil. You could use uh, canola oil. And then we want to give this a good blend. And get that all blended, pureed, mushed, mashed. And then give it a scrape down. And that's looking pretty darn good to me. It smells really good. Yeah, looking good. Okay, let's give it a, a few more pulses and just really, really get this into a nice, nice creamy paste. And we're getting there and that looks good. Okay, here it is. Been refrigerating for pretty much an hour, almost an hour. And that is the Hatch Green Sauce, or Donna, Donya, however you want to pronounce that. It's a, it's very thick. It's very creamy. Let's give it a, give it a look and a taste. Yep, that's that's about about the texture that I was going for. Let's give it a taste. Oh yeah, gonna need another another taste of that. That is fantastic. I really like that. I'm glad I went with the, the spicy hatch chilies instead of the mild because I don't think you would you wouldn't get quite well you wouldn't get the kick. This is I would say this is mild to medium. It's not really that spicy, but it does have a pleasant uh, afterburn. I, I do like that. Uh, 
And the hatch chilies, these hatch chilies, they're fresh. They were just roasted. And it has like, they're kind of sweet in a way. Not like overly sweet, but there's a subtle sweetness to this. And that is quite a bit of cilantro in there, but I'm really not getting overpowered with cilantro. I can taste it. And the uh, just that little amount, you know, a teaspoon of lime juice is right there, adds flavor. Perfect amount of salt. I love the texture. If you wanted it thinner, you could just add a little bit of water if you wanted, but all in all, I'm calling this a success. Thanks for watching.